a country that's incredibly, it changes enormously. If you get in a car at the top and drive from the top yeah. to the bottom, you just, at every corner, things change. And, and there's places which are very hot and tropical and places which are almost Antarctica. And it, it's hugely, you know, big mountains, volcanoes, everywhere's different. So that idea is of participating with what we've got is um, quite a lovely way for us to think about what we do because everywhere we go, it's different. Um, you know, the climate's always different and the site's always different. So we, it's a nice way of um, understanding New Zealand. Um, yeah. And it guards against the trap of thinking about the object first. I think that's the thing that's come out of it for me. I think, you know, one of the things that typifies a lot of the buildings that were made in New Zealand in the in the last two decades is that they're very much objects in a field without much consideration of the surrounds. And I think, uh, I don't know if we've done this deliberately, but it's certainly something that happened on that you know, we need to consider the context. Uh, we need to consider the surrounds and we need to think about a way that we can maybe um, be a first positive step in establishing a broader context over time. Mm. And, right. and I think that's something New Zealand, arch New Zealand architects are quite good at. New Zealand architects are very interested in context to the, you know, to the landscape. Mm. Not, just, not just us, but it's partly because we've got a country that's changed so much mm. and a country that has so few people living in it that, that we get to work in these landscapes that a lot of city architects perhaps weren't. The, I guess the, our experience of being architects in New Zealand, or well, my experience of being an architect in New Zealand, is very different from my experience of being an architect in other places. You know, I've been worked in London uh, for longer than I should have really, and that's issues of context, issues of, you know, you're a very small cog and a very big wheel. In New Zealand, there aren't that many of us, and we do get to have quite a significant impact on our environment. Um, and for us, you know, we're practicing in a provincial centre, so we are almost accidentally. We do the work we do is important in that context. Um, but we're the we're in the middle of a succession of um, building industry calamities that mean. Uh, Compliance, you know, the act of actually getting a building consent and getting something constructed and getting it signed off is hard, harder than it's been for so long. And, and so, one of the things for me about being an architect in New Zealand is trying to rise above that, trying to put this whole kind of concern with the little stuff to one side and focus on making um, positive, meaningful um, buildings every time you get the chance. I think the other thing is. Um, there's a real sense of team about the way that we make buildings here. You know, we're often working with the same builders. Uh, we're often working with the same clients. They're, they don't always start out as clients who share our vision of, especially the commercial clients. You know, and so you know, there's a an, an act of kind of winning small battles often that mean that the quality and the nature of what we make improves over time. I mean, I, that's the part I enjoy about about this. Like, you know, I can see that we're on a on a progression where we can make really good buildings with people who are used to the way we make them, and it's not always a battle, but often at the moment it's a battle. Yeah, the, yeah. Bureaucratically, it's a battle, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. But I mean, back to your question about what it's like to be an architect. Is uh, uh, architecture is about people? Mm. You know, re really, it's about people, and and the everyone does it for different reasons, don't they? It's kind of a labour of love, and it's a sort of a you know vocation, a vocation. But but ultimately, the biggest satisfaction I get is 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 about people that you you change their life and they go off on this adventure that they invited you to be part of, and that's the reward. And, and that's not a, to me, that's not about a scale of job. It doesn't matter whether it's someone's kitchen or it's a museum. I'm not that it, but, but um, we're a library. I mean, it's, it's just, it's uh, the, sense, the sense of helping people mm. to achieve something that they didn't know how to do. And then you've actually helped them well beyond what they 
ever dreamed of. Um, that's the fun bit. That's what I. Yeah, that's what I take home to my family. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you <laughs> take something positive home. The right one for the job, you know. I think that that's part of that that stripping stripping away and finding the question is. Um, I think a lot of our approach after that is probably constructional. That, that thing about elements and and the key to unlocking that is finding the right material, not just doing the same thing. Yeah, there's a, you know, you, you, do, you do a building like NMIT which sets a new way of using timber and you suddenly, people start expecting you to use timber in every single building. And our answer has been, well, we'll use it if it's the right material for your project. Um, and it's no different than using the roofing iron on the offset sheet house. It, 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 it's, it, again, it's just about playing with whatever's going to work and, and, and in the same way that we do um, we do a really big range of work from very little houses to you know some quite large buildings and of all different sorts and that's what's fun that's what you know so, so that a kitchen alteration can inform a, um, a museum I mean it, so you just have to set up this way of working in all these different areas and then you don't have to be prescribed to have a certain type of approach or a certain type of look um, and we like to try to find that as we go along. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, nothing to add to that. <laughs>